happening, y'all? It's your guy Rashad, Action Sports Bar and Grill with another day in the life of a food truck owner, bar owner. Today's a uh, point of view video. We ask a lot what y'all want to see, what kind of footage you want to see, what kind of one of videos y'all are down for, and um, the POV is uh, something y'all wanted to see, so here you go. If there's any other kind of videos you guys wanted to see, any other type of footage, make sure to comment below, let us know. We want to keep it, uh, you know, keep it fresh. But anyways, this was a uh, prep day leading up to a regular service. This is the second half of prep. A couple of hours condensed into about a half an hour. Um, it is always a madhouse for us when we are doing uh, events most days because we have regular bar operations and restaurant operations that are going on and uh, we just kind of bum rush the kitchen <laughs> and take it over to do food truck stuff so uh, our kitchen crew is adept at uh, making space for us and us being in their way and um, kind of having to work around us while we try to get really two locations ready to go at the same time so I believe we had a, uh, I believe we had a pool tournament which had the entire restaurant full first thing in the morning, and we were also trying to get this um, regular service done. But you know, we knocked it out. Do what we do, and uh, a big part of that is because we've got an amazing team, and we uh, also started to develop our systems to make these load ins and load outs and prep days a little easier. Actually, if I got a pro tip for today, that's my pro tip is um, whether it's food truck business or your restaurant or bar business, you wanna make sure you start developing some systems, uh, some things, checklists and, um, you know, things in place to make your load in, your load out, and your pre-service easier. Um, things that you need on the truck, a checklist of that is great. We developed our own for that. Uh, a checklist for uh, the items you're bringing, making sure that you have every component of each item you need on the truck. Uh, that's a big time saver. Um, you know, systems and checklists on of what's in our boxes and our load in and load out. You can see we got a lot of these crates. Well, they're all labeled uh, with what you need so that uh, we can always replenish stuff and we don't wind up on a service without things. Um, who's making sure that the fuel and propane levels and water levels are fine. Uh, all of these things should be addressed before you close the door and head out to your event because the last thing you want to do is get there and be missing something vital like water or gas <laughs> or the protein that you're supposed to be featuring that day. So that's my pro tip for sure is make sure that you develop some systems and some checklists for yourself uh, and for your team to make uh, getting ready and executing services much, much easier. Uh, this was a super successful and busy service we sold out we had a regular menu with the soul bowl and the brisket mac and the actually we did pork mac for this one this was pork mac and chicken wings we rotate our main protein kind of depending on the day and, and what uh, is available but uh, the pork butt is great we don't waste anything either you'll see us always with like an extra side container that we're throwing fat or hard pieces or uh, just stuff that we wouldn't want in our pulled pork. Uh, it's still packed with flavor so we save all of that and we either use it to boil it off and use it for braising liquid if we're doing pork. Um, say we're doing pork birria tacos or something like that it becomes part of the braising liquid. Um, sometimes we just uh, continue to melt it down. We'll throw it in the, the smoker and just let it go all day and continue to render. And then we'll save the fat and turn the fat into ice cubes, um, which we use to season things later on. Um, or if we're doing birria tacos, we use that oil to, to, to get the tacos ready. So um, we try our very best not to waste anything. 
if it's a bunch of ends of the lettuce or vegetable scraps, we save all that, throw it in the stock pot with some water and salt and, and make our own veggie um, stock. So uh, whatever we're, we're using, we want to use all of it. It's another pro tip for you. Save everything. There's your most of your food scraps can be used for something, if not a stock, uh, if not for its rendered fat, if not for something. So um, be mindful of that as you're going through product. As much product as we go through, it would be crazy to throw away all the rendered fat and all of the scraps that we have because it it, it adds and imparts so much flavor. So that's another pro tip: waste not, want not. But uh, great service, uh, again, uh, sold out. Uh, again, um, this was an HOA event, so we were able to bring our full, you know, everything we have to offer, cookies, drinks, beverages, uh, and food. And it made for a great day. So, um, yeah, another prep day, day in the life. Food truck operations, here's our point of view. Check it out. As always, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Um, if you like the videos, please say so. Say something in the comments. Give us a like. Subscribe to the channel. It is very much appreciated for a little small business like ours. All of that helps. Or, like I say, if you're in the area, stop by one of the bars or hit us up on the food truck. Check out some of them on the website. Either way, appreciate y'all. We'll see you on the next one. Oh, customer gives you $20 for any dip. Yeah. Uh-uh. You don't do that to people that know how to uh, Do math. It. They're like, I'll just count you it back. Look at it and immediately you're looking at the change. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly what happened to the court measuring cup. Yeah. <laughs> Why, you ain't got none back there? I got two gates. Okay, yeah, we only need, we'll bring you some back.
I know how that goes. That's why I say, yeah, that's why I set the alarm. Because I will definitely forget. Yep. Miguel's back. All his little idiosyncrasies. Yeah. It's it's more better. Miguel likes what he likes. Hey man. It's okay. I know you would like it. Yeah.
Okay, uh, we're gonna make some sauces. We gotta make white barbecue. Okay. Uh, and uh, then we gotta, oh, we actually we gotta get chicken wings in here first. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll, uh, I'll break down this. We'll get the pork jus in here getting strained. Mark, can I get a, one of those four inch uh, pans? Perfect, yeah, that'll work. No, 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 I told her the same thing. I said, that's all good. That was only if we were gonna do the donated service. Chew. Mar, you want to open that for me? Thank you, sir. If not, you got to make it enough. Shit. <laughs> Y'all didn't live by that shit, dude. And it shows. <laughs> you got to gotta make it enough. I'm going to only since we said we're going to do soul bowls, right? I know, but... You said soul bowls. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, yeah. I did see that. This is a private party today, actually. It's not Buckley Days. Buckley. Mm-hmm. We out there. Yeah, I hear you.
What's up? Somebody just ordered a chicken and waffle. <laughs> For real, of course. Not as bad as when that first started. Yeah. It's just getting the. Yeah. Boy, that is some tender meat in there.
Let me let you come. Come on, come on off there, you little bitch. Yeah, I like a glove. Yeah, thank you, sir. Because at Starbucks, we know that some things are better together. Limited time. Can I say free sale applies to purchase a specially tagged 2024 vehicles only. Quantities are limited. Must take delivery by 7824. We are the voice of NASCAR. The green flag is in the air, and we are underway. The great American race. The Motor Racing Network. <laughs> Grub, Xfinity, and Craftsman Truck Series Racing live on your hometown radio station at MRN or NASCAR.com. Martinsville, Talladega, the Chicago Street Course. We have the side-by-side -side action and last lap passes for the win. Photo finishes, Ryan Blaney will win. The voice of NASCAR, the Motor Racing Network. Make more of what's yours. Chase Mobile Lab is available for select mobile devices. Looking for a summer getaway? Fairmont Austin offers a luxury hotel experience. 
complete with spacious guest rooms, renowned service, and six acclaimed restaurants. Unwind at the spa and rooftop pool, or enjoy the property's bustling downtown Austin location. Whatever your vacation style may be, Fairmont Austin is an ideal home base for your visit to the live music capital of the world. Visit this landmark for world-class accommodations. Austin, live music capital of the world. That seems like a little bit of a stretch. Don't drive distracted. A message brought to you by iHeartRadio, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, and the Ad Council. 102.5 KZOK Seattle. Yellow Chart. Yes, Jamar grabbed him. <laughs> okay, those are hot. A lot hotter than I thought they'd be. Hot, all very, 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 very hot, very hot. I mean, the list of fucking ailments that come with this drug is just most of the commercial. Yeah, up front. Uh, actually, you can just set it right there. Or actually, right here. I'm gonna. You guys got everything else? I think so. On the warmer with the chicken wings. I'll take this to the front. All right. Close it down and let's fucking go. Okay, I'm gonna put all this down to fries, tots, cookies, otter pops, drinks, all the proteins just came out. Yep. yep. Okay, let's do it. Let's hit this bitch. There's some
Where is that other, this guy? Tito's, and Jameson. I have a bottle of Tito's and a bottle of Jameson. Did they want Tito? And then we have all the, the, uh, the yeah. Is that, the, you think that's enough? Yeah. Yeah, I'll just grab it now. Okay. And here's some time cards. Grab a bottle of bourbon. Huh? She's, I asked her if there was something that her husband liked to drink. Uh -huh. She said bourbon. I said, I'll see what I can do. That's all I said. Okay, well, I got Jameson. That's plenty. Okay. Yeah, and I have some sodas, some Cokes back here. All right. And a couple right. of diets. Up, okay, we'll see you there. You got the address? I, text I did get it, yep. Hold on, I can't remember real quick. You got a bunch of cord up there? Uh, just, just to make this uh, two sides? I don't think so. I think they're... I used it. I used two of them for that. There was the last one in there. I'm going to find one inside. I got you. Okay, I was going to say, I thought we had a couple extra down low over there somewhere. I did. I, put, I used them over... Oh, over here already? Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that's good enough, I'm sure. Just put that heavy ass shit in front of it and we should be fine. Let's do it then. We out this bitch. <laughs>